In recent months, the country has been subject to negative publicity from international media, with the most memorable being a headline by CNN in July this year, referring to Kenya as a hotbed of terror, ahead of the Global Entrepreneurship Summit attended by U.S. President Barack Obama. To counter such negative publicity, the government engaged a global PR firm to aid in improving the country's image. Um, and that is very much a digital gateway to all of the various information sources about Kenya. Um, so it's for investment audiences, it's for potential visitors, and it's really to have a good platform where we can get across all of the rich stories about Kenya. This has resulted in, among others, the launch of the Make It Kenya online portal that offers vital information about Kenya to tourists and investors. Private sector, government, county governments together to use this portal to tell the world what Kenya is all about. Kenya has engaged the National Geographic as one of the partners in writing stories about Kenya's rich heritage and splendor. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Phyllis Kandia says the portal represents the official online face of Kenya and will help advance the country's image abroad alongside other portals like Magical Kenya. Tourism industry players said the future was bleak for the tourism industry that has recorded reduced number of forward bookings for the next year and 2017. Charters coming back, we will have empty beds on the coast and in the lodges. We need to fill them. And the only way is for us to have interface with them and ask them what is it that they need to bring them back to Kenya. Kandia challenged the private sector to take up an active role in branding Kenya as an ideal investment destination in order to attract foreign direct investments. Regina Manyara Gitar reporting for Channel 1 Business.